In today's video I'm going to play around with uh, some textile paint, some uh, fabric paints. I'm going to show you everything that I use and I'm going to uh, paint some dots on my face mask. I know I probably should have done this video like a few months ago but I think it's never too late and I also think that face masks are going to be a part of our lives for a very long time coming so um, yeah if you if you're interested in like painting your own face mask or just to have a look at how I did it just keep on watching so I used two different types of paints one that is I only have this single shade called turquoise and it's by Kreul, it's a, I believe it's a German company and uh, the other one is called uh, Deco and I think this is also German but I'm not a hundred percent sure so uh, they do have these neon shades, these neon colors and I was a little bit scared when the package arrived. I ordered this way back like a few years ago. But I did not want neon colors. I wanted colors that look good on a dark fabric. Because I wanted to paint my uh, jeans. So I was scared by the intensity of these shades. And then I realized that oh, these are not actually neon colors. So they look like neon, look at this red, they look like neon but they are not, they are not neon colors, they are just regular shades, you will see by the end of this video when it starts to dry down that these are not actually that strong colors. So the orange shade that I showed earlier was gone already so I guess that's what I tried before but I, I don't remember. I remember that I was not very successful at my first trial. And then this is my green face mask that I bought. This is the only type of face mask that you can get at my village at the grocery store. So I own three of these. And this is my brush, it's called Munkachi, it's a Hungarian brand and the size is number one. And this is a contour brush. So then I go on with the turquoise color, oopsie this is upside down, with the turquoise uh, shade. And I have to tell you right now, it's a, it's a bit of a spoiler, that this is going to be the most successful paint brand of the two paints. So then I just, I, I wetted my br brush, so my brush is wet, but I'm not going to like dilute with water the, the paint. And then I just paint a circle and then I fill it in. And this is just basically what I'm going to just keep on doing with different sizes of dots throughout this video until I fill the whole mask. So, um, at first I wanted to just play around and try all the, all the brands, all the colors that I have. So, it's just going to be like random dots all over, so it's an abstract piece. But I do plan to dye the other two uh, face masks with... Uh, with more like, of like patterns or flowers, I don't know what I'm going to do, but it's going to be dotty for sure. So this is just the second dot, and I'm I'm painting it with a little bit of a bigger size, so that it's uh, you know it's more interesting. So. The thing with dotting is that I always say that when you know you look at your first piece and you go like oh this is not how I wanted it to be, it's not because the dots are not perfect dots, it's because people at their first try 
They usually tend to paint similar sizes of dots and they expect it to be like beautiful. <laughs> it is, but it's much more interesting when you have like very varied sizes of dots next to each other. You will see by the end of this video. So now you can see that I have dotted this turquoise, it's not a turquoise shade, but that's the name of the paint. So this teal color all over my, uh, my mask and I honestly I could just leave it like this and I would be very happy with the end result because I really like this, the simplicity of this, um, this pattern. So yeah, I, I like the way it is right now, but I am still going to try the other paints and the Deco brand, which is not going to be as nice as this one, but it's still, it's still good enough. So I would still recommend both brands to paint with. And the other thing I wanted to tell you is that I really expected it to be more difficult to paint on a fabric and it wasn't that hard as I had imagined. So now I'm going on with the first uh, deco color, it's called blue, neon blue and um, uh, this has a little bit of a different texture, it, it, it reminded me of the um, Unicom Grow Glow in the Dark acrylic texture, so it's a thick one and you can see it when I, when I paint it on onto the face mask that it is a, it is a visible visibly thick paint but by the end of the video when it dries down it's going to just look the same like the turquoise the teal color so it's not going to be a three dimensional look unfortunately which I love one of the reasons why I paint dots with uh, brushes instead of dot painting tools is that I love how it creates a three-dimensional surface that you can feel the bumps of the dots on the surface of what I am painting but this is not going to be the case with this face mask So I'm also painting different sizes with this color and I still love the way that this looks like, I love that it's all green and blue. I still love it by the end, <laughs> so I'm going to really make it very colorful and uh, I still love that. But uh, yeah, if I have to choose my own colors, that would be just something like this, like blues and greens, or blue and purple together.
now as you can see I've already started going in but I'm just going to show in a way with the neon green color when this one dries it just it's such a similar color to the green of the face mask that it's not very visible but I still love it because you know they are just all similar shades so I, I loved that very much and I'm just gonna keep going with this third color So the fourth shade is um, neon yellow and as you can see I'm just doing the same stuff again, just painting, painting random sizes of dots. At this time it kind of looks like a mess but in the end it's going to all come together, at least I love the end result. And so the last color is this neon red. This is actually a kind of a bright red and at this point I didn't mind it because in the end it all looked very beautiful and summery. I know I'm probably going to wear this still in the winter time but yeah I, I just love this.